Hello everyone, you might be in a situation where you want to go ahead and unpair your Apple Watch from your specific iPhone. Now doing this is actually very easy. Now you can do this with your iPhone or you can do this with just your Apple Watch. Uh, but do keep in mind sometimes that if you do have an iCloud account associated with your Apple Watch, which is like everyone, then you may have to type in the passcode. So keep that in mind. You may also want to go to iCloud.com, go into those devices there and then basically remove it from there if you don't want to use your iPhone. But essentially how this process works is you want to go and click on the digital crown on your Apple Watch and you want to make your way over to your settings application. So go and click on settings just like this and you'll come into this panel. Now what you want to do here is you basically want to scroll down until you see a little option that says general. So general is right here, it's very kind of at the top. And then what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see reset. So here what we want to do is go and click on reset and then we'll have two different options. We'll have erase all content and settings and then reset home screen layout. But most probably what we want to do is erase all content and settings. So what we're going to want to do is go and click on erase all content and settings. And it's going to say all media data and settings will be erased. This cannot be undone. Are you sure you want to continue? So here, if you want to continue, you want to go and click erase all. And then what's going to happen is it's going to go and start erasing your Apple Watch. And that is really all you have to do. Now, like I mentioned, to remove the iCloud account associated with this Apple Watch, you may want to go ahead and go to iCloud.com and remove your Apple Watch there. So there's tons of different ways to do it there. You can also try doing it from your iPhone as well. If you're selling your Apple Watch and you're resending it from your Apple Watch itself, you may have to go ahead and you may be required to type in the passcode of your specific you know, iCloud account. So make sure you remove it from your iCloud account before. But that is pretty much how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.